I'm getting ready to go into surgery today, guys. I made a mistake that could happen to anybody in our line of work. I'm going to cross post this uh, on my personal channel and my lawn care channel simply because it it has to do with the lawn care industry, uh, but it also has to do with me personally. Monday, I got up early, uh, went to swap out my blades because I already had a pre-sharpened pair of blades uh, for my mower. I got one put on. I was putting on the other, the second one. I was tightening it. And as I was doing that, the socket and my ratchet slipped off the bolt and sent my hand flying into the freshly sharpened lawnmower blade. I didn't think it was that bad at first. I thought, you know, maybe it was just a scrape or whatever. Maybe I just banged up my hand. I don't know. So I finished tightening in the bolt. Then I saw a lot of blood come gushing out of my hand. I slid out from underneath the mower. And yes, before you guys ask, uh, I did have the blades clamped down. They weren't going anywhere. I had the spark plugs disconnected. So that, they weren't gonna turn on uh, accidentally or anything. Uh, the machine was not going at all. Uh, I know I've had a few people ask me that. No, the machine was not going. I walked inside, hollered out for my wife. Uh, she was in bed, of course. She was like, what? I go, honey, what? Honey, what? I think I need to go to the hospital. She's like, oh my God, what happened? And she comes running in. I'm in the bathroom at the sink uh, with water going over my hand. Blood just gushing out and uh yeah uh nine stitches uh it turns out we went to the er turns out i cut into a tendon which means i i can't make a fist i i can try but it's gonna put a lot of stress on the tendon that goes to my ring finger see how my hand is sitting naturally right now how the ring finger is a lot lower than the others. The only reason I can move my ring finger right now is because of my pinky and my middle finger. If I move them all together, yeah. But that's as much as I can move my ring finger. Only from this knuckle down. Or up. Whichever, however you want to say it. So I got to go in for surgery today. I, I uh went to the doctor after the my er visit i had i had to go to the a hand doctor on tuesday tuesday morning first thing in the morning bright and early and he explained to me what happened um how i'm gonna have to go through physical therapy uh and the surgery and all that for quite a while i've got to wear this custom made thing here which sets my hand at a very awkward angle I'll show you guys and I've got to wear a sleeve under it but that's how my hand needs to stay I've got it off right now um, just because I'm getting dressed and I'm getting ready to put it back on and I wanted to show you guys what happened so far my friends and fa family and everything have been great uh, checking on me and everything I'm still able to work Tuesday when I went back to work because I took Monday off Tuesday, I was only able to get six yards done. Uh, I did five of those by myself. On the last yard, I had to call my wife and have her come help me um, just because my hand was starting to hurt. It felt like every time I was going, every time I went to st pull start one of my trimmers or blower, uh, it felt like one of the stitches was going to pop. Um, and then yesterday, Wednesday, I managed to get nine yards done by myself. <laughs> with one and a quarter hand well because when i'm wearing this thing all i've got are these two fingers to use so i i look like the penguin you know from batman returns so i got up about five five o'clock yesterday morning uh i had to uh fix my tr string trimmer because there there was something inside the throttle switch uh, that kept me from being able to pull the trigger. 
uh, it, it was locked in place. I couldn't, I couldn't use it at all. So I had to take that apart, figure out what was blocking it. Turns out it was just this little switch with a spring on it. Um, I didn't know what it went to, what, what it was for or anything. Um, I did all the troubleshooting and everything. Uh, I tried to fix it as was, couldn't. So I just took that little switch and spring out, um, started right up. After that, I was able to use the throttle. I shut it off, started back up. It got me through the day, all day. And after that, I went out and did nine yards by myself, got done about four o'clock. Or actually, I got home about four o'clock, took a shower, took the family out for dinner. But yeah, th this hasn't slowed me down at all. It, it did on Tuesday, but after that, it, it hasn't slowed me down at all. I've been uh, talking with a few other guys, uh, a couple of former YouTubers, and another current YouTuber. Greg, Geek to Freak, uh, checked on me a few times. We talked about it. Jeremy the Animal and Carl, Faddle Fingers. They've all checked on me and wished me luck with surgery. <laughs> Stan, Dirt Monkey Genetic. <laughs> he, he said, uh, Holy crap, I hope that's not the hand you masturbate with. <laughs> and when I show you the picture here, you'll see that, well, this, when it happened actually looked like a vagina on my hand. Take a look. That's what's going on. Uh, my father, my wife just went to work. She works in the ICU at the hospital. Same hospital I'm going to for my surgery. Uh, my father-in-law is going to pick me up here in a few minutes or in about an hour or so. I got to show up there two hours early for prep and all that. I've got to get IVs ran and all that other crap. I'm, I'm really hating needles anymore. Uh, ever since this happened, I have to get stuck with needles every six months uh, and get tested, make sure my cancer doesn't return and all that. So yeah, uh, but this is why I wanted to make this video. I could have avoided all this if number one, I had worn my gloves. Uh, number two, if I would have taken one more safety precaution that most of us don't think to take. Wrap your blades in a towel. Both, so, both ends of each blade you're removing. Make sure all the blades are covered before you start to take them off. Because if your ratchet slips off that bolt, your hand's gonna go flying and it's gonna hit something. It's either gonna hit the side of the deck or it's gonna hit the other blade. If it hits the other blade, this is what could happen. Uh, there's nine stitches on there now. Uh, they're gonna have to, when they do the surgery to repair the tendon, they're gonna have to open, the reopen the wound, which I'm not sure if you could see it that well or not. And this is the doctor's markings for the surgery, so yeah. They're going to have to reopen that. They're going to have to spread it apart to look like a vagina again. And they're going to have to uh, stitch up the tendon. Uh, I've got to hold my hand, keep my hand like this uh, to avoid putting pressure on the tendon. The way the physical therapist uh, explained it to me is with my hand like this, it cuts, uses some slack, gives the tendon some slack so it's not constantly pulling. Like this the tendon is pulling and once they stitch it um, it's going to pull that much more uh, right now there isn't any pain uh, it's numb in my finger but there's not a lot of pain um, now with my hand like this it's pretty sore right in here uh, I'm gonna have to go through a few months of physical therapy afterwards um, it's going to take a few weeks for this to heal up uh, before the stitches can be removed uh, I'm not I'm not sure if they're gonna go have to go in further um, but I'm gonna tell you one thing if I wake up with no hand or missing a finger I'm gonna be pissed
Alright guys, so uh, I'm back home, finished surgery, uh, I can't move my arm at all, they, they gave me a local anesthetic, which they put like right here, and it completely numbs the arm, uh, I, I can't move it, can't feel anything, uh, my skin feels warm to the touch, uh, I, I've got to keep it in a sling. I don't have it in a sling right now because I was getting changed. Uh, but look at this shit. It, I, I, I feel like Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. I really do. Um, I, I, I can't feel that at all. I can feel up here fine. This is fine. But from the elbow down, I can't feel anything. Uh, and that's going to be for the next 10 to... Well, it's already been... It's already been about... Three or four hours, so... Probably the next eight hours, I've got to deal with this crap. Um... So yeah, I've really got to be careful what I do. Because since I can't feel anything from the elbow down, I don't know if I'm moving it and it, it's in pain. I, I don't. It, it's very weird sensation. Um, I got my thumb and my index finger free. I got to go in on Monday uh, for a doctor's appointment where they stuck the IV in me. That was the worst part, the IV. I don't remember anything um, once they, uh, from when they started. They said they weren't going to knock me out, but they put something in my IV that They put something in my IV that would make me tired. <laughs> it did a hell of a lot more than make me tired. I uh, for about two hours in between, they got me re uh, they got me ready, and then took me back in prep and all that for what to wait. Um, it took about two hours, and I swear I felt drunk off my ass. Whatever they put in that IV. Uh, it was like a combination of making me feel drunk and making me feel stoned. Um, it was a very real, uh, weird feeling. Uh, I tried falling asleep. I couldn't. But then it was like, as soon as they were ready for, sur they, for surgery, they wheeled me into the surgery room. Said they were going to give me something to make me tired. And that was the last thing I remember. Uh, with when I had my wisdom teeth pulled I had all four done and they put me in like a twilight state which is what this was supposed to be and I they, I slightly remember it but I remember absolutely nothing from this surgery uh, very weird experience so what what I recommend to you guys when you're changing out your mower blades or even when you're just taking them off to sharpen them and putting them back on make sure when you do that you cover them you wrap them with uh, towel padding something so that if your ratchet uh, the socket from your ratchet slips off that bolt uh, your hand doesn't go flying into the other blade uh, otherwise you're going to end up looking like this I had to stop by Subway after surgery, so I was starving. I hadn't had anything to eat since uh, yesterday evening. hadn't had anything to drink since then either. Uh, so we stopped by Subway on the way home. Uh, I think now 
I may crawl into bed, relax, maybe watch some movies, whatever, maybe some YouTube, and just pass out. I, I have not been getting much sleep lately since this happened, but right now I think I can probably sleep after the drugs they gave me. So. Take care, guys.